good morning. I am on the Silver Lady today. We're going to go to see Steve Scott Motorcycles to put a new battery on the VFR. See you in a minute. Good morning and welcome. My name is Richie Vida. Thank you very much for being here. Yeah, it's time to show the uh, Silver Lady some love. When I was getting all the bikes to the Wild Bad Weekender for inside the marquee, I noticed that the uh, battery seemed to be struggling on the VFR. It's quite strange because it's a fairly new one. This this new battery has barely done nothing. And it just seems to be knackered, so I fully charged it. And then it just doesn't seem to have the power to start it. So I spoke to my man Steve at Steve Scott Motorcycles. And he said, yeah, it sounds like it's a dodgy battery. So we're going to head out there now and uh, get a new one put on. And I'm just hoping that it gets me there because... I've had to jump start it off the V-Strom this morning, then put the battery cover back on, then put the seat back on, then put the jump leads away, then got all my clobber on, wheeled the bike out so it could warm up, got my helmet on, started the cameras, and then uh, made that stupid mistake of trying to put it in gear without lifting the side stand up, which stalled it, and then had zero power to start it again. Not even enough to turn it over, just nothing. The battery's obviously completely goosed. So then I had to push it back into the garage, take my stuff off, take the seat off, take the battery cover back off, get the jump leads back out, restart it. So I'm hoping that I can get all the way to Steve's without stalling it, because if I do, she won't be starting again. And I'm gonna have to bump it at the side of the road. And just whilst we're making our way over to Steve's to try and uh, curb my nerves of it running out, um, the Wild Bad Weekender VFR was collected yesterday. It's gone to its new home. Mr. Joe Welch, mate, absolute pleasure to meet you. And it's it's just so lovely to be able to say, there you go, mate, there are your keys, bang, that's your bike. So the white VFR has now left the uh, Wild Bad stable after all these years. And it's now gone to its new home where I think it'll get the attention and love that it deserves. So Phil, Joe's dad, was the guy that won the ticket at the weekender and straight away he said, I'm giving this to my son. And uh, it was so lovely to, to see Joe's face yesterday, really, you know, I mean, it's not every day you win a stunning motorbike, is it? So Joe, I wish you all the very best, we all do, wish you all the very best, many happy memories and miles on that stunning, stunning VFR. What a beautiful bike. I took it for its MOT the other day. Oh, it's just so smooth. Such, I mean, the VFR in general is just a beautiful, so nice. Took it for the MOT, passed flying colors, not a single advisory. <laughs> and then noticed on the paperwork that it had done the grand total of 60 miles, six zero, since 2017. As I said, it's just been sat in Dave's garage, gathering dust, only doing its MOT mileage every year. I'm sure Joe's going to really enjoy that bike, and uh, quite rightly so. That deserves to be, you know, photographed in as many different places as possible and create some memories for Joe and his family. We do hope to see it at the Wild Bad next year. We've got one bar of fuel on the Silver Lady. Come on, sweetheart, just get me there. 90,555 miles on this beautiful bike. Every time I sit on this bike now, and every time I ride this bike, I start reminiscing. I ride the nostalgia train. And I always think, I've got to always think of the American trip. Plenty of clutch, do not stall. Oh, I could tell a million stories from that trip. And as you know, I do like to tell a story. Ready for some new tyres on this girl as well. I haven't changed these in years. Still got the Road 5s on. Someone pointed out the other day that the last proper tour this did was um, when it broke down in Biarritz. It was uh, the, the Wild Bad Picos Tour 2018, I think, was it? Because everyone since has been on the uh, Africa Twin. And this year to be on the V-Strom. I think, anyway. That was the last tour that this one did. 
when she um, finally let go in Biarritz and I was stranded for days. <laughs> I'd spat my dummy out after struggling with it all tour, kept um, failing to start battery issues again. Um, by the time it broke down in Biarritz I'd had enough and I just thought, Do you know what, I'm going no further. I'm, lo I'm using the uh, breakdown recovery that I've paid for and I watched everybody ride off. And then as soon as it, as soon as the 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 rumble turned to a distant rumble and then nothing, I thought, oh, I've not really thought this through. Well, we're here. This is the last roundabout to Steve's. This road's terrible. Yeah, going back to the tyres. Um, so it would have been 2018, maybe uh, maybe 2017. The trip was 2018. Maybe I'd, have, I'd put the tyres on in 17, so it's obviously a lot of years later. Yeah? And even though there's plenty of juice on them, I'm ready for some. I want some road sixes. So I've not had the pleasure of trying any yet, and I know they're going to be good because uh, the fives are fantastic. There we go, we made it. Let's go and shake his hand, turn this off, and see if it starts in a minute, which I don't think it will. Good morning, sir. I'm, good, I'm good, my friend. How are you? I'm good, thanks, mate. Are you okay, mate? Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. I'll get this lid off and I'll get the kettle on. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. <laughs> John is in a sec, folks. Oh, yeah. Going back to tyres, look. Still plenty of juice left on them, but... Yeah. I'd like some um, sixes on now. Right. Thanks, Steve. I'll see you next week at some point. I don't know what day, but I'll okay. I'll give you a buzz and let you know. Um, okay, I'll get you in, mate. Yeah, we'll get some new get some new boots on her. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Steve. See you in a bit. All right, that's it. Got a new battery on it, and then I've also uh, ordered some new Road Sixes and a new chain of sprocket set. Show some uh, love to the silver lady, eh? She's definitely overdue on both uh, counts, really. Tires and chain. Get her all refreshed back up. Call and get some fuel. I'm quite surprised that battery's not lasted two minutes. I love going to see Steve. We just sit and put the world to rights, have about 400 cups of tea, gets no work done. <laughs> I've got a lot of time for Steve. I've still got the Pilot Road 3s that I had on this bike when I went across America. As soon as we got home, I took them off. Still tons of miles in them, but I took them off and hung them on the wall. Well, I'm really looking forward to getting some new tyres on it. I'm actually opting for, I'm going for the Road 6s, but I'm going to whack some GTs on it for a change, just to see. See how they compare. The brakes and everything on this bike still feel brilliant. Everything still feels really, really good. Just love it. That's full tank of fuel for her. Twenty-five pound number one. Mr. Beast bars. He's just a YouTuber. Massive, obviously, massive, but shows you how important YouTube is, doesn't it? To his own chocolate bars. Crackers. Hi, number one, please. Thank you very much. I'm genuinely excited now about getting some tyres on this and chain. Oh, she'll be lovely, she'll be like a new one again. Right, I'm gonna go home for a cup of tea and then on the flip side we'll go back to Steve's and get these tyres and chain on. See you after a brew. Go and treat yourself to a cup of tea yourselves. See you in a minute. New tyre day for the VFR. Yeah. New tyres and new chain of sprockets.
wouldn't bite. I put my pole down and floated around. It's just so quiet. I can hear my old man saying, son, just be still. You can't find peace like this in a bottle or a pill. From a bar stool to that even roof Sunday morning on a church pew What a deer stand or a hate field And then I stayed back to Nashville Chevrolet with the windows down Me and him just a driving around sometime Whether I'm looking for him or not That's where I find God Enjoyed a cup of tea. Let's go and get these tires on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hope you enjoyed that little musical interlude during the cup of tea break there. It's now Tuesday morning and we're gonna go and get these tires and chain and sprocket fitted. I'm really excited about today. She's going to feel beautiful. There's nothing finer than new tire day. Oh, I treated myself the other night to another episode of the uh, American series. I've not watched any for ages. I watched the Nashville episode. Oh man, you'll never know how special that was. From hearing Willie Nelson on the country radio driving into Nashville to uh, ending up on stage. Oh, it was amazing. I felt like a king the next day. In fact, the next day I just thought, I don't really care what happens now. But of course, then uh, that was only the beginning. Just lovely though to see this bike and our bikes in that setting. Oh, what a lovely morning. They are very ready. You never notice how bad your tyres are, do you, until it comes time to change them. But the, yeah, they're almost on the wear, the wear markers. That's it, we're done folks, we're on. Oh, this she does look well, look. And now with new, brand new, stunning tyres on. Michelin Road 6s, but the Road 6 GT I thought I'd go for. We'll soon see, won't we? I'm not planning on, uh, you know, racing it or doing anything fancy. Thank you, Steve. See you soon, see you mate, bye bye. I've been very excited about this genuinely excited about it that's two of the big things that you can do to your bike to make it feel like brand new put new tires on it and then a new chain of sprockets 
Oh, and that's that chain that Steve took off. Bloody hell, I should be ashamed of myself. It was in a bad way. He says, look at this, it's like a slinky. Put it down and like stretched it. It was terrible, terrible. Careful on these new tires a bit. Oh yes, the silver lady's got new tires on. Oh, that's my girl. Brilliant, top man, Steve. Oh, it feels lovely. You don't realise how bad your tyres are until you put new ones on. I always say that, and you never, you know, you look at them and you think, oh, they're all right. Then you take them off. They look like crap when they're on the floor. And then you ride away with your new ones on, and it's, it just feels completely different. I'm trying to remember when I last changed this chain, because, oh, this is going to sound really bad, and I should be ashamed of myself, but... I know 100% I changed it, chain and sprockets in 2013 when we came back from Croatia, but I can't remember doing it since. Which could well mean I've done about 40,000 miles on one chain. Surely I must have done it, but I just can't remember doing it. Met a nice guy called Neil in there who came in with his grandson to see us who actually also brought food. He brought us a sausage roll, me and Steve, sausage roll and uh, like a, a donutty thing. What a lovely guy. Neil, it was a pleasure to meet you and thanks for popping down to say hello. And yeah, when that knee of yours is better, we'll, um, we'll go out for a breakfast and I can chew your ear a bit more about what we were talking about. <laughs> so the tyres haven't been changed since... Uh, yeah, so I've opted for the Road 6 GTs. I know these are designed for the heavier Taurus, but the only difference really is there's an extra ply inside to give it extra stability and extra uh, longevity, uh, you know, f due to the weight. So it shouldn't have any um, like negative effect on this bike really at all. So I just thought I'd go for the GTs, why not? Get some extra miles out of them. I've been wanting to put road sixes on ever since way. Straight through a red. Well, I washed the uh, V-Strom and the Africa Twin, or V-Strom and Keith, yesterday. So they're both spotless, so I don't want to dirty them up. So because the VFR, the Silver Lady, does need a clean, I'm going to enjoy riding her for a bit. Leave them two tucked away. Right, that's it, I'm gonna leave you there, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, it's been nice to get back on the VFR and show her some love. So yeah, I'm hopefully gonna um, next couple of videos on this. I feel like I want to go somewhere on an hour too. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Richie Vida. Be good, be careful, and be kind. Mm -hmm.